Hello everyone, and welcome back to Serious Sam 4, where today we'll be playing Chapter 10, One for the Road. So, I'm having an interesting experience with this level, because for some reason it seems to think I'm out of bounds from the get-go. And I can safely say that that is making my experience significantly harder than it really needs to be, and I hope I can get out of that somehow. It's fun that the drones are at least saying things like, it remembered that I hacked them, so that's nice, but also, there's so much stuff at the very start that wasn't there when I briefly, like, played the level at the start at the end of the previous video. Like, I was just walking around for a bit. But if the whole game, the whole level seems to think I'm out of bounds the whole time, that I feel like that's gonna make it more or less impossible. So, we'll, we'll see if it fixes itself as we progress. But so far, I'm not having high hopes. <laughs> this is uh, the, I don't know how many is attempt at this level so far. But it has been a busy time. And I somehow cannot imagine this level is meant to be as busy as it is. I mean, it is a pretty busy place. But I'm, I'm continuously getting surrounded. <laughs> but at least so far, I've made it through this small sort of almost hallway-like place, and now I just need to get rid of those two snipers that are just somewhere over there. Yeah, I can't quite tell where they are. I don't think... Do I have a sniper rifle? I do, actually. I should probably be using that then. Because that might make things a little bit easier. Still makes the frame rate go to nonsensically low levels, but... At least I'll maybe be able to see the enemies, so that'll be good. That's like a pretty good start, I think. Uh, yeah, I got nothing here. I'm gonna just assume you're over there. I shot a tree, I think. I'm not even sure how I hit a tree there, but sure, I got it. That's a scrapjack. Very good. I think that did a pretty substantial amount of damage. Uh, let's just do that one more time. There we go. Scrapjack down. Um, made a little quick save there, because I'm pretty sick and tired of playing through to start a level over and over. There we go, that's one sniper down. There's one remaining somewhere. Just can't quite... It's... There it is. <laughs> I don't... I don't get that enemy design at all. I... It is still... Just needless. And the fact that my frame rate goes down every time I look through the sniper scope is making me... Big old grumpy like, and I don't like that very much. There we go. Calm down with those rockets, please. Thank you. I don't really have the health to deal with these situations. I just need y'all to go away. Oh, hey, you're there. <laughs> it's peeking over the corridor like it's nothing. Okay. Still playing battle music. But we're making more progress so far in this level than I have in the, in the past 10 minutes. So, it's looking positive. Health is dropping down, so I do think the game is still thinking I'm out of bounds, though. So that's, that's a bummer. There's also some health up there that I'm not really sure how to get, but... I'm sure we'll figure something out. Maybe the battle music is just going to be playing throughout the rest of this level, and uh, you know what? That's fine. That's entirely okay. But preferably, uh, I'd like a situation where this wasn't my life. <laughs> it is an interesting challenge, at least, to just have infinite enemies at all times uh, throughout a regular, seemingly regular level, but... Uh, that's C4. Okay, I should probably be using that then. That seems like a pretty effective way of dealing with the enemies here. Infinite C4 seems to do the trick pretty well most days, so let's just keep living that life. I see a shadow, yeah. There we go. Nice thing about C4 is that it's an instant win in every battle, so if we can just keep up that life, that'd be good. It, it is going to make exploring a little bit more difficult if there is continuous enemy spawns, though, so I'm hoping I don't need to live that life. That's really my only concern. The battle music stopped. There's a slight hope. I mean, I've been hearing an enemy this whole time growling behind that wall, so I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. But for now, there's a brief moment of respite, and I'm gonna take it. There has to be some sort of way to jump on top of this building, though. I mean, surely. Alternatively, I could probably just uh, I was gonna say use an enemy, but it doesn't, doesn't really work in this game, does it? Would be nice, but it is what it is. I do kind of want that health, though, because I don't really have any health power-ups anymore due to, um, 
mysterious French adventures, so I would prefer if I could somehow get on top of a building around this area. Jump on top of that thing probably counts as a secret area because let's be real, it's very hard to see. And therefore everyone's like, wow. I had no idea there was health up there on that singular glowing building on top of this very small town. There's a biomechanoid over there. Hey. None of you even care, huh? I'll just do that again then. I'll just place a couple down here. I did it! I won the fight! Ha! <laughs> they can't stop me. They think they're better than me! Here I am with a measly 7 C4s to kill 3 guys. Easy. Easiest fight of my life. Bring it on, I say. Now that I'm no longer surrounded by bugged out enemies. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident because of it. I will go to that building eventually. I just want to get rid of all this growling. Because there is quite a lot of it. And it does really want me to go there. Like, listen to that. That sounds pretty menacing. To me, at least. Oh, that's a big thing. Mm, can I use you? Uh, ah, you know what. Let's just make this not too difficult on myself. Like, there has to be an enemy in there, right? Like, I can't really see a situation. Oh, there you go. That'll do it. That'll make those sounds, I guess. Eh. Kinda just need you all to not be alive for a second. I will get to that. <laughs> like, definitely, I am going to get to this, but I just... I want this. Can I just climb you like a ladder? Like a normal person would be able to climb this using these... These things. And Sam is like way, way beyond a normal person. Is usually stated in these games. So one would assume... That there is at least a possibility of that being an option, but... At the same time, I'm not having much luck with it. Sam is, uh, exceeding... My highest expectations of him... Mm, being able to climb a small thing. But you know, occasionally he does climb other things, which I would assume a person wouldn't be able to climb, so you know what? Sometimes you just gotta give it a couple tries and before you know it, you just find out how Sam's brain works. And maybe that's why I'm approaching it wrongly. I'm making assumptions on his line of thinking. When actually, I should just completely change mine based on what I've seen him do so far. But... I'm going to be real with you, I have very little idea on how to actually get on top of this building, which was my second guess, effectively. My third guess being that I can get on top of one of these other crates and then jump from there. I have been able to get on some of these buildings at least, but it hasn't really... There's not an immediate way I can see to get on top of that, so there's that as well. Perhaps I can do some level of nonsense with this. But this seems like pretty far, yeah. I could probably do it with like a serious steroids or whatever it's called, but uh, that seems like it would be a waste. Although I do have five of them. I'm gonna let you find out what I figure out after I'm done running around here forever, because this will take a, a year otherwise. <laughs> Alright, I figured out the viable solution. And it is, uh, I'm bored, and I'm just gonna try this instead. I'm just gonna jump over here. Jump over there. Jump over here. Black hole. Pretty great. It is a secret impossible to find for any human. Let's keep going. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know a better way of getting it. Couldn't figure it out. Enter the mech. Yeah. I'll get to that in just a second, though. I've lived that mech life. I can probably survive just going in this direction instead, right? Because there's a big area over here. And there's things like... Red biomechanoids. Alright, maybe not. Yeah, alright, maybe a mech would be better. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm surprised that didn't actually hit me that much. Oop. Is it worth using my ammo on these enemies? I mean, with the distance they are away from me, I could technically just do this forever. And then play the slowest game of Serious Sam the world has ever seen. Because technically the red biomechanoids will die to this eventually. Uh, but then there's the other uh, arachnoids. Then there's that enemy over there. But I could probably just get on top of one, right? 
Like, imagine for one moment, if you will. Uh, and I use this. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore all those rockets. You don't see me. Just get that. Oh no, this is actually still in slow motion, huh? Oh, that actually ruins my plan a bit. <laughs> I, I see. Okay, that's that's an issue. But we did just get a black hole. But I wasn't quite prepared for the time thing to still affect the enemy while I'm riding it. I kind of assumed it would be one of those, oh, you're on the enemy, you know what? Yeah, you did a good job situations. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> you get some weird things to happen uh, every now and then. All right, so I'm gonna assume uh, that that was probably the hardest battle and definitely worth using two of my most valuable gadgets on. So, with that, I will now get into the mech and continue onwards. But, I, mean, I think it's safe to say that you're definitely not supposed to have a mech for this level. Uh, I think I found my next ride. It just seems like, uh... It just seems like they want you to ride the mech. Really? Can I leave the mech at all? No. Who's shooting me? Like, actually, though. Oh, hey, it's a whole bunch. Uh, wasn't there, like, a... Okay, I guess this is not the Pope Mobile. This one doesn't have the cool make everything die button. That's unfortunate. Uh, you're still alive. It would be good to actually have all the enemies be dead at all times because I feel like they're going to chip me down otherwise. Any mech part concerns me for that reason alone. Because the previous one, I, I got through it pretty pretty easily, but... Okay, it was it was space bar. I just wasn't pressing the right button. Cool. Like the one, the previous one, I got through pretty easily, I suppose, all things considered. But you know, there was that time when there were a whole bunch of rocket soldiers that were just slowly taking me down, and that that's an issue if that happens too much. So I'm just gonna keep running and running. Occasionally use my space bar weapon. Hope they don't shoot like homing missiles. Oh boy. But overall, probably I should stay as far away from stuff as possible at all times, because this thing, you can't get out of it, and you can't heal in any way for as far as I can tell. And that concerns me. I'm just gonna live in the woods with my big old robot friend. Oh no. Maybe that's just the life I should leave. Just live in the woods with my big old robot friend, because quite frankly, I'd feel a lot safer if that was the case. Having said that, uh, I guess just being in this mech for the most part makes me feel safe if there was some way to repair it. And since there doesn't seem to be, uh, I actually feel significantly more unsafe fighting it this way rather than just using my guns. Because I could probably just ride one red biomechanoid and finish this, this whole army off uh, by myself. I think that's, that's a fair assumption. Because look at this. Now there's the helicopters. They're never fun. There's a bunch of canoes. But the helicopters especially, like their homing missiles are just the worst. Not really sure if I'm actually hitting the kamikazes that well with the way I'm doing this right now, but... It seems like pressing space every now and then is doing some jo some of the job at least. But I am taking a lot of hits from those rockets. They're really, the only dangerous thing is the helicopters. Maybe I can actually just shoot those rockets down before they have a chance to hit me. It's like continuously one kamikaze as well. Like, what is up with that? No, there's those things still around. Ah, oh, what a mess. Life is a lot easier when you're not inside a giant battle robot. You know, that's all I'm saying. Maybe I should just be running this whole time as well. I, I honestly don't know what, what will work the best. Like, if I just ignore all the enemies, I assume I die really quickly. But now that I'm actually fighting everything, I feel like I'm not getting through this. <laughs> so it's like, eh. Am I doing the damage required to even reach the end of this land? I don't know. Maybe there's secrets in the woods. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. Perhaps if I explore the woods slightly. I did just quick save, so there's really no harm in me. Just checking out this place for like a... A mechanic, you know? I think that's reasonable. 
I don't think I can actually get on top of this, huh? Yeah, it does actually seem to be an invisible wall or something. Block? Yeah, okay, there definitely is. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> There's no way that vehicles just stop like that. But, you know... How well did they build this invisible? Okay, quite well. Never mind. No fun allowed. We're, we're going. Who knows how much damage these soldiers have done at this point. They seem to be coming back so quickly. That or I'm wasting a lot of time. Both are equally valid options. And perhaps it would even be better not to have killed those. Because now it seems like a whole bunch of extra enemies have spawned over here, which... Might have been prevented if I kept those particular enemies alive. I honestly don't know. Who knows at this point. All I know is that there's a big crack in my windshield. And there keep being more little cracks in my windshield as I'm progressing. Which I assume, I assume means I'm getting small amounts of hits everywhere I go. That's not good. Oh my god, look at this nonsense though. Look at how many of those blue guys there are. They're gonna deal so much damage if they all shoot their rockets. It's a mess. And I'm shooting my own rockets wildly at them. But I'm still just a little concerned. I feel like, you know, just saying, if this is my weapon, and they have their tiny little little piddly rockets shooting at me, I feel like I should feel more invulnerable <laughs> during these sequences. I should feel stronger than I am. And instead, I feel like I'm going to die regardless. Because there is rockets everywhere, and I have the smallest targets in the world to be shooting at. The whole battle. And I don't... Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe maybe mech sections are just not made for me. I'm starting to realize that. That's really the lesson I'm taking out of this one. Mech sections that require me to shoot the tiniest targets in the known universe. As I'm riding the biggest machine in the world with the biggest guns in the world. But I feel flimsy. Like, <laughs> what is up with this? Uh, not mad, I'm disappointed. That's that's basically the long, the long story short version. I'm not mad. But I just wish I was stronger than I am. I'm supposed to be the big old defender of Earth. Being capable of ending all the danger in the world. Then I get pushed into a mech, and I'm having a significantly more difficult time with life. <laughs> Low battery. Oh, come on. oh that's the dream. Barely. You okay, kid? Nothing I can't handle, sir. I don't know where the others are, though. Should I look for them? Negative. Head for the town. We'll regroup there. You, you guys, please just focus on that. Uh, remember everything I just said? It was wrong. I should have, I should have killed them. I should have killed them. I'm realizing this now. I realized the error of my ways. I just wasn't expecting the thing to end there, I guess. But maybe I got lucky. I wasn't really paying attention Sam, to Kenny. Because then I got ran over. Nothing I can't handle, sir. I don't know where the others are, though. Should I look for them? Negative. Head for the town. We'll regroup there. Yes, sir. Oh, and... Kenny needs to work on his... On his radio skills. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> Alright, yeah, bye. <laughs> I am in so much trouble. I just need to bail. Maybe I could outrun them. Uh, nice village we got here, though. It looks nice. Would be nice if I could explore it, but you know what? That's okay. I don't need to explore everything. You know, life is fine like this. I'm just gonna grab this skill point, destroy this radio, and move on. Everything's okay. Yep, yeah, let's have this animation play for just a little bit longer, please, because I'm feeling so safe. God, that's a, such a long animation when you actually have to look at it. It is uh, quite spookums. Anyway, um, I don't really have many heavy weapons right now, huh? I'm just going to go with the fire and reload while sprinting. I have been kind of curious about that one. Give me that one. Uh... Don't mind me, you probably can't get through this because it's so small. Thanks, bye. Took out a bunch of Gnar. Gnar? Gnars? Wait, what's the plural? I don't know why you are all so scared. There's nothing dangerous going on here. There's there's probably not even an enemy behind me anymore. They probably despawn. You know what? We're probably okay. What are the odds <laughs> that 
There's going to be a whole bunch of enemies charging That's me from behind later. Yeah, well said, Sam. Well said. This is quite a big hole. Nice. I get it. Because he's a butt. Who's shooting me from all the way down yonder? There's like a big pink thing over there just sort of floating. My frame rate is 6. I am ready to fight some bad guys. But they are, once again, quite far away. In this truly gigantic area. I'm curious though, what's up with that? What's happening there? Can I drive this little truck? Maybe that would make me feel a little bit safer. If I could just like dig a small hole and just bury myself. Uh Well there's a drone. That's nice I guess. Where to put a hack drone somewhere when Like how did it even get there, you know? How does a hack drone reach this area? Did they think they could just dig a small hole and bury it like I was going to bury myself just moments ago? Because I think that's a fair assumption. Will I survive this? Wow, yeah. Surprising, actually. <laughs> Ooh, companion orb. But again, what's going on up here? Can I shoot that? Yes. Oh, there it goes. There it Yeah, look at it go. Uh, I'm going to use a drone. I'm actually kind of curious about it. And I have a whole bunch of those things anyway. Alright, the drone's shooting pretty good. I got time warp. Drone's shooting some enemies real good. I got devastator shells. That's new. I guess that weapon was in Series 7 3, I think, but... I guess it's about time I get a devastator of my own. Did they kill my drone? Or was that the companion orb? Oh, the drone's still up. Well, good job, drone. Killing all the tiny enemies that are... Just way over there, I guess. Sure. That probably was my drone. <laughs> oh, that's so many shells. Ooh. Look at me having ammo for a new weapon. Oh, look at me also, once again, seeing the frame rate dip every time I zoom it. That's fine. You know what? This weapon works on its own. Don't know if I should be fighting these enemies with it, but it's effective. Because they die instantly. I love the Devastator. This is actually, like... Probably the best addition in Series M3. It's such a fun weapon to use because it makes the enemies go splat. That's just a fun thing to have happen when you're fighting someone to have it go splat. You know, even those enemies. Brains? splat. Green dudes? Don't know where it is. That concerns me. <laughs> uh, there it is, I think. No, that's dead. Um, seeing a lot of projectiles around me though, so that's good. Uh, there you are. I am a little low on health. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is actually quite effective against those hammer guys as well, as it turns out. That's so many projectiles on me at all times. I cannot remember buttons in this game. Like, my one weakness in this game is what is the button to actually switch between gadgets? And it's never alt. I always press alt because it's intuitive to be alt, because you use it for so many other things. Why is there a different button for switching between gadgets and going from one-handed to two-handed weaponry in your hands? You know, you get it, it's just... I could probably do a wield this thing as well if I so desired. Ah, oh, shooting with running though, that's actually pretty damn good. But the fact that I'm, I'm actually mad about that, and I will rant about it excessively from now on, but... If it was just alt for both of those things, there is no reason why it isn't. <laughs> you can't do anything else with alt except for switch to a different weapon by accident. Which is never what you want to do when you're trying to switch between gadgets. I don't get it. I'm really mad about video games today. That's more or less the conclusion of this story. I'm gonna use this time warp and kill everything around me. Like a baby. This is how babies play this game and it's effective. Because they are very small otherwise and would have a lot of difficulty beating difficult sections. But because they have a big old baby orb left at the top of this place, everything just dies. And I don't need to worry about stuff anymore. I'm just gonna shoot everything until I'm done with it. Hum, 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 hum. Big old grumpy. That's where I'm at, where I am in life right now. And you all have to sit in it, and I apologize for the grump. Oh my god, though. Mm, 
this is still gonna be a little bit of a bother. Still not all. Uh, Y'all fight amongst yourself now, thank you. I kinda meant to use a different one, but you know what? This actually kinda works. I can go with y'all, just fighting amongst yourself while I get myself a cool new vehicle. Yep, missed that one. Let's try it again. There we go. I just took so much damage from that one bull that was sitting next to him. That's okay, though. Probably, it's it's probably gonna be fine. That's a lot of red biomechanoids, but... Probably not the worst thing in the world. I say carefully. As long as I can keep moving and actually hit shots, and I think I'm gonna be okay. That's a lot of clears. Ugh, good lord. This place is so scared and spooky. Not me. I'm not scared and spooky. It's this place that is. It makes sense grammatically. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think we're on the right track, kind of. But there's a lot of nonsense in this place. So, like, look at this. Oh no. This thing doesn't shoot as fast as I would like. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of a faster shoot would be preferable. How did I not get on top of that boy? So I'm having some difficulty with this fight. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I found out that the time warp doesn't work against any projectile that's green. I don't know if that's intentional, but anytime one of the flying brains shoot, uh, it doesn't get slowed down by the time warp. I'm not actually sure about these particular projectiles, but... I'm willing to believe that they probably aren't slowed down either, because maybe it's just homing projectiles in general, not specifically the green ones. It just happens to be that all the green projectiles are also homing projectiles, so it is what it is. But that that's a bit of an issue, because I'm having some trouble surviving the various greenery that is in this place. Because there's a lot. There's, there's all these brains, uh, as you can see. There is the green reptiloids that are standing on top of the cliff somewhere over there. Uh, a couple that are actually running in my direction as well, which is not ideal. At least I can run while reloading, so I got that going for me. And I can get on top of the Hammer Boys from time to time, who, uh, as you all know, are immune to any green projectiles. So, I can at least get rid of a lot of the danger over here. By just destroying a lot of the Hammers. Also, the moment you leave a vehicle, you're briefly invulnerable, including the next vehicle you enter. So, that's good. And all in all... I'm having a terrible experience with this fight. <laughs> uh, like, truly, I, I am... I feel like I'm cheesing upon cheesing upon cheesing a lot of areas of this fight, and I kind of wish I wasn't, but I honestly do not know how to deal with this fight at all. Outside of getting on a vehicle that makes you immune to anything green. Like, that's, that's my strategy so far. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that it's this effective. And when you just combine all the different levels of shenanigans on top of each other, I can just about uh, reach my next vehicle, which is this red biomechanoid. Uh, once again, should be immune to green, not immune to rockets though. So hoping I can deal with this guy before he deals with me. I just need to get a couple rockets in his direction, but hopefully I can destroy a lot of other stuff with the splash damage at the same time, roughly. That's the end of the time warp, unfortunately. He didn't die, so that's not good. Uh, got on the bull. Alright, cool. We are going back down, and we're going to go to that green reptiloid over there. Because that's really my main danger when I am not on a vehicle. Because as you can see, every green ball just doesn't do damage to me. <laughs> I... It's fine. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. I'm gonna just quickly grab my Devastator, shoot the green Reptiloid, shoot the other green Reptiloid, and I'm already feeling a little bit safe. I made a little quick save there because I'm tired. I'm tired of this fight. And I don't want to see it anymore, and I hope that it ends today. kind of wish I hadn't used my black hole on the, uh, the big open area, effectively hitting nothing there, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm hoping that these guys are going to work with me a little bit better here, because that's a lot of dudes. I did just destroy that bull, unfortunately, which would have been a nice thing to keep alive. Then I destroyed another bull, which would have again been a nice thing to keep alive. There's a lot of clear skeletons still alive, and that's not good. 
Uh, not so many projectiles. I pressed E to enter and it didn't work, so that might actually be my demise there. Because I kind of need to get on a vehicle to be immune to the various green projectiles that are still in this place. There we go. Battle music seemed to stop there for a second. I am briefly invulnerable, but I think that's the end of me there. That invulnerability lasts a while, though. Alrighty, cool. We're, we're restarting from this part of the fight, because, uh, for one, this is a better part of the fight. I just love doing this, so we're doing this again. And also, if I load my newer save file, it crashes the game every time. So, we're gonna try something new. Uh, we're gonna just not use my time warp. We're gonna try to kill biomechanoids and maybe kill some clears as we're running into them. But for the most part, I'm just gonna be focused on biomechanoids and getting some new bulls every now and then. Uh, most bulls just run away from me for some reason because they don't care. They have to go all the way that way first before they have anything else to do with their lives. So you can probably understand that uh, they, they have places to be that aren't me yet. And fortunately, due to the invulnerability you get when you um, like exit a vehicle, or rather when your vehicle gets taken away from you, I guess, due to all the, the pain, um, I can quite easily just switch between bulls every time, so we're just gonna chill here. Uh, the green projectiles still deal no damage to me, because uh, obviously I'm on a vehicle. Uh, that bull died. That's actually, that's the problem. So we're just gonna leave. I uh, hope I don't die doing this. And now I think it's time to get on the next bull, maybe? There we go. Totally normal way to do a fight. You just abuse every single mechanic of the game before you know it. Uh, everything's fine. You just need to keep all the bulls alive because they are the, the key to victory. It makes sense when you just think about it. Some enemies are just meant to be herded around and be used as friends instead. <laughs> I actually just have a large group of friends uh, helping me through this fight against a couple of enemies. Like, if these bulls run through a clear, it's still gonna clear, like, kill them, so... It's actually just beneficial, because they the clears deal damage to me, but I don't think they actually deal damage to any of the other enemies. Uh, like, provided I'm not riding them, everything should be okay, so... I'm just gonna focus on trying to kill clears. Ooh, I actually ran out of the Devastator ammo. That's a bit of an issue. I'm gonna try to make another quick save and hope it doesn't crash the game when I load that one. That would just be lovely. Uh, press E to enter, did nothing. Cool, cool, cool. My companion orb is still alive, so that's good. There we go. No bull, no me. Uh, yeah, don't really have much in the in terms of weapons here, and that kind of sucks. But maybe there's still some Devastator ammo in the middle there? Yeah, there is. There's actually, like, a whole bunch. Very good. So just keep focusing on clears. Uh, a little concerned about those green projectiles every now and then, but hopefully I can manage this. There we go. Everything's okay. This, uh, this, this fight's terrible. Like, I, <laughs> I I don't love it. I don't love it very much. There we go. Like, the way I, I won this fight, or at least I'm currently progressing through the fight, is just in the worst way possible. Like, I'm more or less just abusing every single mechanic that I have available to me. And somehow, it just feels a little wrong. <laughs> it feels like, uh... Almost cheating the way I'm <laughs> going through this fight. So, you know, it just it makes me feel things. It, it gives me feelings of negativity and I don't like it. But I think maybe I just went into this level with a bad vibe. Like the moment uh, the, the out-of-bounds enemies were spawning uh, as I started the level, I hadn't even gone anywhere yet. I feel like that's, from that point, it really, it got to me in a way that I don't think uh, was very productive. And that's, that's just unfortunate. That's what it is. Because I think... <laughs> I think there's probably something good here. But, oof. I, I think this level more or less, like, summed up all my least favorite parts into one big fight, you know? And that's just really unfortunate. I kind of wish it wasn't that way, but it, it super is. It, it just so is. Like, the cheesy mechanics, the low frame rates, the big mech that feels like you're the weakest person in the world for some reason. Because they are 
so kind of secluded, I guess. Like, what am I trying to say here? Uh, trying to kill these enemies. Like, I can't zoom in on these enemies because my frame rate will go to three. So there, that's not an option, unfortunately. Uh, being invincible to green projectiles while you are on a vehicle, that makes no sense to me at all. And I don't understand why that's the case. Like, I think that's the dumbest thing available. Um, let me just throw one of these out. And maybe, you know what, I'll just throw out a second one, because I don't want to be here anymore. I'm just going to try and grab health all over the place as the drones hopefully destroy everything around me. They seem to be doing a pretty good job earlier, so two drones will probably just win this whole fight, right? That seems like a reasonable assumption. I don't know what they're shooting at, but it's probably very dangerous. Oh, there's actually a witch there. I didn't even see it. Oh, that's actually not great. Is it going to teleport away every time it gets hit by a drone? Oh, there we go. This has no sound. Uh, I didn't remove the sound. There's just no sound to that cutscene. Good. Kamikazes and worms. Very nice. Uh, I think I ran in the wrong direction there. I probably should have just tried to get up instead, but... Hopefully that's not going to be too bad. This is rough, though. This is not a great selection of enemies for me to have to deal with in my current situation. Because I feel like one nice thing to have right now would be rockets and not kamikazes all around me. That would be a really nice combination of things to be having right now. Uh, okay. Hey. Can I just kill you like this? I don't know how many shots you need, but I, th I think it's quite a lot, right? Like That concerns me a little. What's going on over there? Oh, the drone is still shooting. Good job, drone. Just need to maybe shoot this thing in the face repeatedly, and that that would be probably doing it right, yeah? Yeah, it's getting there. That's a lot of shots required, though, and I don't really have the ammo for that. So I hope I don't have to kill too many of these things. Maybe just that one, and then it's over? We'll see. Maybe I'm supposed to just leave this area as well. That's, that's a fair possibility. But I can probably... Uh, can I kill these guys with the ammo that I still have? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, they're shooting rockets at me. Yeah, the door's still closed. Uh, that's tedious. Let's see if I can find some more Devastator ammo, because these enemies aren't actually shooting me. Like, I, I obviously, the, the rockets are coming towards me, but they're not hitting ever. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe there's, like... Assault rifle bullet. You know what? Sure, I'll try. I mean, I think the health is going down every now and then, so it probably is sort of effective at least, right? It's probably doing something. Let's just keep shooting it for a while. Yeah, I'm dealing damage. It's all good. These drones are still do- like... As you can see, a lot of rockets are actually going towards those drones, and I don't think they're actually taking damage from them. So that's cool, I guess. Just an invulnerable drone taking away all the bullets. Fine. <laughs> uh, where do I even begin with this? This is like, ah, uh, like I like on the one hand I feel like I went into this level with the wrong mindset, but on the other hand, God, it has been just a mess of a level. There we go. Look at you being destroyed. Is there anything in this place that I can still grab for ammo and such? Because I'm guessing... I don't know what else is going to be in this level, but... I'm ready to leave this place. Uh, give me that one, please. Thank you. Like, there's a lot of fire going on there and not a lot of being able to see, so... That concerns me. Is that Kamikaze again? God, please. Has this fight not gone on long enough? Is there not a time where one says, all right, you've killed everything. You know what? We're good. Move on to the next part. You've done your duties. You've used up basically all of your ammo. I guess I still have C4. I guess I kind of forgot about C4. And my companion orb, of course, who just occasionally destroys things in the background. So that's nice, at least. All right. Well, you and me, we're going to explore the rest of France, which... Oh... Never mind, there's a quad, a quad here. Mm, I'm not sure which one of the two I prefer, but I'm definitely... Like, my instinct is telling me bull is going to be better in every single regard, but let's see. Oh my god. 
<laughs> well, that worked. This thing seems to be pretty nippy, at least, so hopefully... You would assume a quad goes pretty quick on dirt as well. It's alright. It's going alright. Oh my god. You're actually gonna give me a radio that I can't turn off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're all in this together, folks. I, I will help. I will help assist with that. Yes. Definitely was listening. Don't worry, Bill. Last name unspecified. It's gonna be... We're all in this together. You know how it is. Yeah. Like, my instinct says, just go in that direction. You're on a quad. There's no reason not to go through the dirt on a quad. But they put so much effort in making a road, you know, so... It would be just a little bit rude not to follow it. There's a whole bunch of kamikazes in these woods. I don't know where they went. Because I killed like four. And I feel like there were more than four. Even at the time. But. I don't know. <laughs> they, all, they all left. We are under attack by enemy forces. Calling on nearby units for backup. So that's that's called uh, storytelling, where you you make their team be called Team Dead. So you you'll be surprised when it's like, oh, they're dead, but actually it was foreshadowing that they were already dead to begin with. So actually, it's a surprise in a second that they are going to be dead already. I mean, they might be zombies. There is the the possibilities that they added zombies. So you know, maybe maybe that's the thing that. They turn out not to be dead, and that's that's the whole secret all along. It was about the non-dead people that we met along the way. And that's why we're gonna reach this convoy, and we are going to be pleasantly surprised. I am sure of it. That smoke means safe. It's just, uh, trying to send out a message. Probably. Damn it. I'm too late. Sorry, French convoy dudes. My god. It was just as the prophecy foretold. Oh look, something to take this tragedy off my mind. Ooh. A portable automated external defibrillator that can instantly revive a combat. Alright, cool. A, a not death. That's pretty good, actually. Anyway, I got my quad. I'll see y'all later. This place is a nightmare. There's too many people who died in this, this strange little fortress type thing. So... I'm just going to leave. Y'all have a nice day. Yeah, I can actually just leave here, huh? That's nice. Y'all deal with your own troubles now. I'm going to go to that big flying ship over there. I can probably take a shortcut as well, right? Because I just quick saved and I see no trouble with taking the easier route. Plus, I get to see some of the farmland this way. Like, that's nice. Wouldn't have been able to see Sir, that otherwise. I'm approaching the town. No sign of the others. I'll wait for you at the bridge. Ah, yes, a bridge. I, too, am familiar with uh, where this bridge would be, as I, I am going in the proper direction. The French convoy dudes are still dead. Great. Now I feel sad again. I should go find something to kill. No, there might be some enemies behind us that we can still kill, but one could argue that they could still be alive. But who who knows? It's like Schrodinger's, uh... Nar. There's the bridge. Let's find Kenny. I mean... No spike. No, no, there is a spike strip. Oh, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> uh, all the energy has been taken out of me in this level. And it's really unfortunate. Sir, over here. Hey, kid. How's France treating you? Oh, sir. You wouldn't believe the things I had to fight to get here. But here you are. See, kid? You got this. Yes, sir. I believe I do got this. <sighs> That's not right, is it? Don't worry about it, Kenny. We're gonna meet the French Resistance and have a wonderful day afterwards. So, kid, you feel like you're part of the team now? Yes, sir. I'm sure I'll be snorting drugs with Rodriguez, flying <laughs> planes with Hellfire, and... Uh, what... what does Carter do, exactly? We're not sure. 
classified. I hope we find that damn grail soon. Maybe the real grail was the friends we made along yeah, the Kenny way. gets it. Yeah, you go, Kenny. You you are part of the team. We are on the same level. There has to be a way, right? I mean, I'm hearing some resistance in the distance. And that's worrying me a bit, but... Like, you could very easily just swim to the other side of this, I would assume. There is a good chance there's nothing on the other side of this, but what if there is? There's a sign that says, May they find rest and peace. And that usually means uh, there's some peaceful, cool stuff in that direction. Yeah. Just ignore the music for now. Yeah, the music is uh, exaggerating the current situation. There is no danger around this, Kenny. Do not fear. There we go. I found a secret entrance to the outside world, I think. Boop. There we go. Now at least we can explore this place proper. They put a car here just so they know, like, if you accidentally get here, you can leave if you so desire. But it's okay. There's no real reason to leave. This is another great audio tape. This I can... is Bill Corwin. Ah, uh, Bill Corwin. Of Earth. Here's another... You know what I miss, human? Ah, that's my best friend. Alright, cool. I still kind of want to get to the other side of that place, though. Like, look at... Look at that. There's little pink areas right there. There's a little purple light over here. There's gotta be something. There's, there's no way. There's nothing. I refuse to believe that there is nothing over there, and I will find the secrets that this place holds, however many there are. If I miss one, then... Was it even there? Schrodinger's secret. Schrodinger did a lot of work in this town. Oh, look at this. There is actually something in this town. Oh, who's gonna win? <laughs> Dude, that was the easiest goal I've ever seen in my life. And now everyone's just walking into each other. Oh, but damn, now the ball's gonna go in the other direction. I'm gonna help out. This is pretty good. This, <laughs> this is the highlight of this level by far. How long is this match gonna be? There's no timer. Oh, the, oh no. The companion orb just killed a whole bunch of the players. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But, you know, that's that's how football goes. Right, I'm gonna get a goal. Everyone's gonna cheer for me. Yeah! Alright, Companion Orb. Ooh, I actually get stuff for this? That's nice. Do I get one of the other team scores, or is that just gonna be enemies? There's a, there's a cheerleader here. Being like, yeah! Oh, he sat down. Cool. Oh, the whole team died. Oh! You know what? That's the price of football. It's it's a it's a tough game. It's not for everyone, for sure. I think that's safe to say. But the the audience is still there. And can I just leave here? Maybe this is how one can get to the uh, cathedral type building that I have been meaning to go to this whole time. There's a good chance. I'm feeling confident. I think, yeah, this seems right. This this seems like a pretty normal place to be right now. The music's all intense because they're like, yeah, he's gonna reach it. That's what the music's all about. I'm fairly sure that's accurate. And look at this. This is completely different from that other cathedral light building that we saw previously. Completely different. There's a statue here that I can't really blow up unless I use one of my devastator bullets. Kenny's still here, so he knows how to get here. He knew the secret. Yeah. Yeah, this is good, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to that football field, because I don't think there's actually anything here. Now that I've explored it thoroughly. But it's always good to keep these doubts out of your head. By just checking it out just in case. You know, you gotta, you gotta verify these things. And that's, that's what I'm all about. I'm about verification of the truth. And here we are, probably stuck behind the football field. But perhaps I can get all the way around town and then I'll be in the right place again. So... Uh, is there... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is an item over there. There is an item on the other side of the football field. Um... <coughs> <coughs> 
Oh, I made it. I, I made it to the other side of the football field in a perfectly normal and not quick loading way. It was quite impressive. Can I get the ball out of here? Oh, wow. It doesn't actually want to leave. That's fair. I think if I was a football, I probably wouldn't want to leave the stadium either. So I can get that. Just making sure, though. If I just push the ball in, in this direction, I just a little bit, right? It's just a, a, a smidgen. Just, just a little bit through the door. Ah, okay. Three one for one side. That's a pretty standard uh, football game. I guess two one is like the most common one. But three one's still not bad. Two secrets in basically the same area. Pretty good. But I suppose I did have to walk slightly further forward, so I can understand. Like you could miss the football field and just grab that instead. That's a pretty expectable thing to happen, I think. Alright, let's keep moving um, that away. Where I'm sure even more secrets are hiding from me. Maybe they'll do the thing where the enemies jump out the windows again. They haven't done that in a while. They've done that in like one level, so surely it's about time that they reuse that one, right? Like there's a big old corridor type city we got going on. I guess it might be like more of a village it's not that big. I'm not sure if this would qualify as a city, but it's 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 decently sized. In terms of how many buildings there are, you could very easily just hide a whole bunch of stuff in there. I'm gonna actually switch this set of weaponry right here in case we do get into that situation. Now we'll go to that flank ship in just a second. There is like walls to look at. Although there is a big statue in the middle there that the game wants me to go to, and that has me a little bit interested. We shall see. We shall see, indeed. Mm, but it does look like we're just gonna go in that direction instead, because it's just a big, big square. It's just a big square over here. Sad King. Alright, yeah, sure, go ahead, Kenny. Um, it'd be nice if I could run backwards. But that would be a luxury that would just be ridiculous. Oh, we got another one. Good job, Kenny. You said it, Kenny. I'm trying to find a place that's not gonna get me killed, and quite frankly, I'm having a little bit of difficulty finding it. Because there is a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> uh, but I'm hoping running and shooting is gonna have my back for at least a while. Oh, that would actually work out quite well. Uh, Zed. Time warp. There we go. I'm just gonna zoom on me. All right, yeah, you do actually need to be sitting down, huh? That's a little bit tedious, but that's okay. I can grab all this cool stuff. You're not gonna sit down anytime. Oh no! Oh, I definitely got hit something fierce there. It's gonna take you a while to actually. You're not gonna sit down, are you? All right then. You know what? That's fine. You tell him, Kenny. Kenny knows what's up. That's why I never invade a planet Earth either. Because it just never works in these troublesome situations. Kenny's a pro. It does help that you have a gun. That is not broken, as in is the case in level 1. Just pointing it at enemies and nothing happening. I mean, he wasn't really pulling the trigger in level 1 either, but... I mean, it takes a while before you get to that level, you know? Alright, bulls. Assist? Oh, that's not assist. That's just death. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I'll just press this button real quick. I just want to see it work. Very unusual. Very unusual power-up to have in a game. But it didn't help, <laughs> it didn't help my situation at all. <laughs> uh, Alright, so there was a helicopter. That one concerns me a little. This one is almost dead, I think, but... Not like super dead, so that's good. So we're gonna go with the herding of the bulls strategy again, I think, because that seems to work out quite well last time. I need to get rid of that helicopter. Because once again, that one scares me the most. But other than that, I think the bulls can more or less deal with this, provided that I run around cool and have my companion orb also shoot them a bit. Uh, so my bull's gonna die in a second, so hopefully I can get on a new one real quick. There we go. And I'm stuck in trees. <laughs> but I think it's working out. 
I think it's working out. This is so needlessly powerful. <laughs> There's another helicopter over there. That actually kind of sucks. It's like the one thing I don't want to deal with. Pressing 6 is also like pretty far away, I'm realizing. Maybe I should have a different button for the Devastator, but I don't know what button I would use. And pardon me. Thank you. 22 health on this bull. Sorry, Kenny. Uh, Kenny didn't mind that I just ran into him with a bull at least, so that's that's positive. Kenny's always such a positive experience, you know? I'm not sure if there's really any other dent. Another helicopter? Can you just stop, though? Like, actually? Oh, no. The bull died. That's not great. Uh, that's fine. We're good again. I'm on my favorite thing, which is a bull, and I think I might actually be invulnerable to the helicopter while I'm on a bull. So that's lovely. And perfectly reasonable. Very good. Very good. Just grab whatever's over here, which is some Devastator shells. Grab some sniper bullets. And now we can just leave this place without worrying. I'm guessing I have to actually kill this bull to move on with this fight. Because it's probably going to be like an extra phase, but... Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in this place of death. Well, it looks like we got everything uh, in the bag, more or less. Although I haven't been here yet. This is new. So that's fun. Kenny just does not care that I'm running into him repeatedly. You think I could get Kenny on top of like a rooftop if I just like push him with my bull? I think that would be fun. Uh, it doesn't really go that high. That's kind of unfortunate. Can I kill the bull with this companion orb? Oh, no, it just ends. All right, cool. That was a good fight, kid. Kenny? Hello again, Sam. Kenny! Look who I found. Let him go, you scumbag. Or what? Or I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. Oh, Sam, Sam, Sam. Let me deconstruct this for you. You are not only outnumbered, but outdated. A relic from a time when people believed in heroes and causes and uh, freedom. But deep down, you know, you must know, these ideas are myths. Bedtime stories for little boys, and you can never win. The might of Tarhum will crush this world, as it has crushed every other that stood against him. You can't save the Earth, Sam. No matter how many of our soldiers you kill, no matter how many witty one-liners you come up with, you can't even save your closest friends. Let's settle this right here, just you and me. Man to whatever you are, leave the kid out of it. And why would I do that? Why in the world would I do that when I can just do this? No! no this game no, sucks. No, no. There goes another hero. Worst game ever made. Come back here! Come back here, you son of a bitch! Fuck! Damn it, Kenny. Sorry, I... I wish... Ah, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not good at this crap. Well, would you look at that? At least you got both your shoes. That's something, isn't it? Stone, over here. Rest easy, kid. I am sorry to be meeting you under such circumstances. My name is Said. I will take you to the Resistance. This way, mon ami. Game sucks. How dare you? How dare you? Killing the one good character in the entire series. That was unfortunate. Got pretty close to the estimated time for once, though. I didn't really mess around this level, I guess. But, oof. That, that was a mess. That was a mess of a level, is what that was. I, I don't care for the mech sequences, because the mech is just bad. Like... On the one hand, it's very strong against, like, certain enemy types, but then it dies to, like, the small rocket soldiers 
because it just doesn't take them very well. And you can't actually leave the mech yourself, or as far as I can tell. Except when the battery's low, <laughs> I guess. And that's, that's frustrating. Then the, uh, the out-of-bounds enemies spawning at the very start of the level, which I think is a bug, because... In the, in the very brief time that I've spent in this level, uh, before I stopped playing the, the previous level, it didn't seem to happen. So maybe that's just, like, happened in an update or something weird, but I, that sucked. The fight in the big pit was stupid. <laughs> I... There's so many mechanics in this game that don't work. Like, the the fact that in the, in the vehicles you are immune to just random stuff. Like, I think the clear projectiles still hit you, but it seems the helicopters don't hit you, and anything that's green doesn't seem to do anything. If you use a time warp, the green projectiles don't slow down, everything else does. And I think, I think it was kind of neat that if you get on an enemy, the enemy is still slowed down when you use the time warp, because fair enough, it cannot actually run faster because it's slowed down, but... Oh, <laughs> this this level frustrated me so much. Then the game crashing whenever I tried to load that one save. Like, oh, it was so annoying. It was just a genuinely annoying level. And then Kenny dies. Like, what the hell? That was so so, so just ugh. <sighs> anyway, that was the end of chapter ten. One for the road. <sighs> Next time we play, it'll be chapter eleven. Uh, Viewer of resistance, and it, I mean, Kenny's dead, so there's no way for this game to have a, an ending that you can really feel like you won at the end of the day. Plus, we know where Series Sam 3 is headed, so it's like, eh, blah, blah, blah. but, oof. Also, I missed seven secrets, I guess. And, yeah, yeah, it was just, it was just a very frustrating time. Hope you all enjoyed my <laughs> severe frustration, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.